Hey, good afternoon, guys. I want to talk about my uh, steer barn, cattle barn. That's why I built this uh, three years ago. This barn uh, appraises at 185,000. What it would cost to replace it. The mission of this video is: Does it pay to build a building like this and raise cattle? Now, I said it's three years old now. This building is paid for, and uh, we did use uh, tobacco money to pay for it as I build it. Um, it's not a state of an art building, uh, not a top quality building, but it was a building I could afford and do majority, not all of it, majority of the work myself. All the iron work, everything is steel work, everything in there I did. Um, I had some help from here and there. But can a building like this actually make money for you? And the answer to that is yes and no. I built this building uh, with the idea of doing a lot of different things. Pretty much everything you see in here is uh, removable as far as the metal work. Uh, if we want to change over to another uh, uh, usage for the building, a uh, storage building, a drying barn, a hog barn, a uh, sow, pretty much. But this barn, I'm not going to say it was probably one of the smartest things I did, but I think it come pretty close. This barn is 75 feet wide, 130 feet long. And um, as you've seen over the years, I think last year we added this uh, headlock system here. And then they came on down with panels, slanted panels. And um, I, I left the cattle locked back so I could walk up here and just kind of show the difference. Um, so let's talk about all the benefits of owning a building like this. First of all, feeding time. My biggest thing is feeding cattle in the winter time, having snow to shovel off. Um, yeah, you, you get the point. I wanted everything pretty much be able to uh, be able to take care of myself. Uh, we are a smaller operation. My goal was to run 200 head through here a year and have it actually paid for in three years by cattle. And you heard me say it was paid for earlier, but still you need to re bring your money back home, what I'm trying to say. So, like I said, our goal was to run 200 head uh, through this steer barn cattle barn, whatever you want to call it at this point. To build this barn today is going to cost you right around 185000 if it stops at that with the curtains and everything. And uh, this has just a feed bar, uh, rail down through here. And our goal was to put slanted down through here because the calves can jump up through there or get shoved up. So... When we built this, I was looking for another way to create income to uh, help pay for the farm. And um, with the tobacco uh, business and stuff like that, I thought we'd reinvest it into this barn and then run cattle through it and try to hit the high and lows and make some money. close that before I forget. So, I just opened the curtains up and uh, fed them here and I'm going to let them out but I wanted to walk up down through here on the walkway. This is a scrape alley where we will scrape it and you can go check those videos out for the new ones. But, it's not like we're out west where we have, you know, an extra three or four hundred acres for grazing and uh, small feedlots and stuff like that. We live here in, we live here in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania and uh, 
we need to be able to put cattle in buildings and use our farmland to farm. Now, it would be nice to, to be able to have land to graze these guys or, or um, put them in a feedlot. But here, we need to do things a little bit different. Try to use all our space uh, as best to our abilities. Would I build a building like this again? Yes, I would. Um, over the winter and stuff raising cattle, we have pushed a lot of nice calves out through here. Um, we lost, you know, a few. And pretty much a couple that should have never, pretty much never died, but um, more than likely a poor decision I made, not bedding at the right time cattle trying to find a place to lay down uh, or laying together too closely and then someone stepped on a cab. Now, that being said, three years ago there was another building standing there when I built this one. And we had an incident here with the fire and that opened up a little bit more ideas for this building to add on and um, we're just into the process of continuing to, to make plans and then see how we want to handle things and I'll let the cattle out here to eat so we can have peace here for a minute funny thing is these guys are really not hungry they're just overfed spoiled brats so I just wanted to let them out so we're a little quieter here. When we built this barn, we did not uh, figure in calving pens. And as being a younger person, uh, just starting up in the beef business, you know, not thinking that you need certain things. But, and uh, even a corral, we don't even have a corral on this farm. So we'll go down here after a little bit and uh, where it's quieter. But. So you can see the air comes in, sun, lots of sun on them. They all look pretty good to me. So they can't quite all fit up to the feed rail at the same time. There's ones running in the back area yet. Um, that's another thing, adding onto the building, I can push more ahead. Um, and keep the the operation growing. So we're just in the process of breeding the cows again here. Uh, we like to do a late fall calving, um, midwinter. It just seems like we push some really nice calves at time of the year. We do have the shady lane uh, curtain system on this barn. And uh, if I ever do replace these curtains, you guys can uh, go back another video as I was cranking them up and down. I would put the see-through ones to let them more sunlight through in the winter time. And more daylight. Um, let's see here. Uh, where the old uh, building was standing, somebody said, can you build out there where it was before, being that close to the road? That building's grandfathered in, so uh, that gives me the opportunity to change things a little bit more. If I keep it away from the road, uh, they won't give me a hard time, but that building goes right out to the slab, and here's the back wall. So as long as they don't give me a hard time to do what I want to do, I want to add on to this building here and come out at least 60 feet and um, in this area where the building would be would be calving pens and stuff like that even a, even a corral in here or something and then out where that hole is is poor wall where that big uh, spreader the Myers 20 95 20 can back in there with the 83 20 under roof so that roof line will be out there at the end of the pile of the, uh, the dirt there. 
So, like I said, we don't have the calving pens. We don't have a cattle chute uh, to pull cow in to um, uh, pregnancy check. This would also allow us to have manure storage and uh, keep it under the roof to keep it dry. So, and then we would continue to feed the uh, alleyway out through here allow a spot where I'm standing to drive into the barn and then a wall out to the dirt pile there. I know it's kind of hard to understand. Uh, we did have everything laid out here. Just the concrete work here would be 33,000. Um, and then uh, we'd have to bring our building out all the way out to on the other side of that dirt pile, allowing us to back a tractor underneath and uh, load underneath the roof so and then when the spreader's not sitting there or something we can actually uh, pull out and leave and then just pour all the manure there until we can get on the fields again so with that addition on here this building would technically be in the almost close to the uh, 290 thousand range um, now you want to justify when I build something. I want to justify, you know, you're looking at. I always look at a 10-year plan, uh, just so the cattle can pay for it, or, or if you change it over to different uh, usages and stuff like that. And uh, with a high clearance and stuff like that, if the cattle market would tank on me, I would definitely dry tobacco in here. This is a perfect barn for drying tobacco. And uh, with the curtains on the side, letting air through, and a big uh, roof like this. So, so this building is three years old. It's kind of its anniversary of three-year-old building, and I just wanted to do a video of it. And uh, the biggest uh, expense was the concrete, and it's always going to be concrete. Um, what I have totally invested in this money, a building, uh, doing a lot of the work myself is not near that, but uh, what it's appraised for and uh, uh, for replacement cost, um, you can see how you could get a lot of money into it. I don't have the spouting on yet. Uh, my biggest concern was the snow load and getting it off in the wintertime when it does slide over. It could be up to three to five feet of snow right here where I'm standing and looking on the concrete. But I want to continue to just take that building right out to the dirt pile, add calving pens, even put in like a, uh, some kind of a scale system and uh, be able to, you know, give shots. Uh, right now we would call a guy in, uh, has a cattle chute and we set up inside and run them through. We set one right out here on the outside up. Uh, it's between 200 to 500 dollars to have someone come in and set up for me to give shots and that gets kind of expensive so uh, this is kind of the anniversary of this building for me being three years old now and uh we ran a lot of cattle through that building a lot of cattle and then we started moving cattle down below here which i'll do that in another video but so back to the question will a building like this make you money and I said yes and no. And at this point, this building made me money. As far as upkeep, very little upkeep in that building. The curtains are, the curtains alone are over twelve thousand uh, dollars. So replacement, once you have to replace them, it's probably around four thousand. But um, I, I don't regret building it. Um, I could have just done something a little smaller and had the feedlot covered and the cattle outside. But I'll tell you what, manure and pen pack and everything works really nice. So I hope you find this uh, video a little interesting. And uh, if anybody's deciding to build a building, um, you want to pencil your numbers out for 10 years on a building. Depreciation and uh, um, cost to gain to, you know... Uh, losses and everything else just to cover your cover your money back um, we took the, our time and saved our money up in the tobacco and pretty much built it on uh, tobacco money and 
So that's the story on the steer barn. If you guys have any questions that I didn't cover or stuff like that, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. Um, it is a uh, 75 by 130, and we're going to add on another 60 feet. So, and it might be enough to get it up to 200 feet. I don't know until we're done sitting here. As always, I hope you enjoyed this on the steer barn. And uh, I'll try to answer some questions. And uh, I did tell you the, the, the metal work all came from C&K. Uh, we do have a video on that. So we're going to put slanted bars in and stuff throughout the summer here when we have time again to work on it and uh, get this construction project going. So, as always, have a great evening. Leave your comments, suggestions, and we'll talk to you later.